podcast. Why not? Let's fucking do it. Thank you, Jimmy. How are you, Jimmy? What's been going on? Did you miss me, mate? Hope you're all going well. Look at the Grizz desktop background. Ooh la la, la chérie. So I've edited a little, uh, you posted a, a, a tat on Discord? Oh, hell yeah. Let me have a quick look, actually. Can I do this on here? Is this going to dox me? No. Pictures of you. Oh, my God, it's so cool. Fox and a, and a bird. Missed you heaps. I missed you too, Jimmy. I miss streaming a lot too, man. Is that on your leg? That's on your leg, eh, Valk? Dang. Remember that time I opened Discord on stream, Jimmy, and I got caught out? Hey, 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 hey. We won't do that again. Left thigh. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Here we go. Coca's Islands, 2020. Let's have a look. These crabs, fuck, Red Snow would have seen a couple of these. These crabs, I kid you not, are all over the island. On the roads, like just in the jungle, all over the beaches, like you see them squashed on the roads. That one is probably be probably about this big. Like decent fucking size. All those tracks are all crab tracks. They just scurry everywhere. Super good spot though, like real green, bright blue ocean. This is like the main there's one road on the island that goes from north to south. On the West Island. This was a mate's accommodation. He had a spa there as well. Look at this big this big turtle. Look at this big look at this big boy here. Yeah. Red, did you see a couple of turtles? I did I didn't catch the ferry. No, I didn't. Well, I did, sorry, I did across the DI, yes, I did. So, guys, context to this. I was across there doing um a coral health survey. So this footage that you're watching here, which has the depth up the top and the date, um, was recorded using a uh, underwater drone, essentially. So I'm driving this thing from the surface and I'm using my phone as a camera like this and I'm watching what it's doing and I'm driving it around. And stuff like this would happen all the time. Come across turtles, sharks, all sorts of stuff. So go back later and I'll just, I'm going to assess this footage to give them an indication of how healthy the coral is. Serene as fuck? Yeah, it's awesome. So these fish here um, are called bonefish and they are the most sought after fly fishing species. Um, one of the most sought after fly fishing species in the world because for the size they are, they are really like strong and hard to catch. Uh, they like take you for a big run for your money. They're also quite good eating. But yes, I found out like a school of these and I was getting pretty excited. In about four and a half meters of water. They kind of look like whiting, but a little bit longer. So Shorty, how you been, man? Hope you've been good. I think I need to skip forward a bit here. Yeah. Yep, yep. This is one of the prettiest sites that had like lots of fish and stuff. So Red, did you um, did you catch the ferry across? And did you see the? Uh, I've heard there's a uh, giant trevally at the end of that ferry terminal, eh? So there's a bunch of like parrotfish and stuff here. I was spooking them. I was spooking all the fish with the ROV as I was swimming it. This would be an amazing snorkel valve. Shallow, loads of fish, loads of coral. Look at all these. These are all parrotfish coming through here. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we figured it out. The, the ecosystem is so healthy, Red. Although there is a bit of coral death, it's all like natural up there. Yes, yeah, so all the corals are pretty, pretty looked after. Hasn't been any big bleaching events or anything for a while. G'day, Bright Neon. This is, mate. This is. Yes, yes. I took all this footage. You live near the ocean? Well, I've just been on a work trip, mate, at the Cocos Islands. So, um, I didn't, uh, I don't live here, unfortunately. I wish I did because it's an amazing spot. One of the most, one of the best holidays that I've had, work holidays I've had for sure. Yeah, yeah. Some bright blues and stuff. Well, some bright yellows. I actually go for a snorkel at the end of this. Bit and I can, I'll show you some stuff. I um, I swam down to a cave and there was a shark sitting in there. It was pretty cool. Got it on video too, which is nice. 
Hey, thanks, Brunnown. Have you heard of the Coca Science? So this here, guys, is on the beach, and it's a fire pit. Um, and not too many people know about it. Usually only the locals. So I got taken here by a guy that lives on the island, and it's literally fire pit right on the water. So we bought, like... So, Red, you would know, but the rum is duty-free. Hey, no worries, no worries, Red Snow. The rum, all the um, spirits are duty-free. So we bought a bottle of... litre bottle of rum. Went and collected a heap of firewood. <laughs> was I shitting bricks? It gave me a bit of a fright when I popped my head in there. Definitely, because he was just like sit sitting in there lurking. But yeah, came down here on sunset. Yeah, yeah. Have a look wow, at this hermit crab. This so was about cool. about this big, I reckon. And his one claw was like that. Like fucking huge. Had one massive big claw on him. Little hermit crab man. I have Langes Everest, so perfect. This, this, in terms of tropical places that I've been, I've been to Ningaloo, Exmouth, and other West Australia bits. This would be up there with the best, I reckon. Here's the fire pit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Took some steak along. Hey, Blood Hunter, welcome back, man. I'm going good. I'm going fantastic. We're just watching some footage from the Cocos Islands. Have a look here, guys. This is a shark here. This is a little reef shark. Um, I got told to come down here because in these shallows, apparently there is a heap of reef shark. And uh, in the past, there's all shops and stuff behind here. Red, you might know where this is. This is out the front of the place where you eat the coconuts. But I got told by a mate that if I go and walk down here, the sharks will think I'm feeding them and they'll come in at you and like see what you've um see what you've given them. This one here like came right from my legs and then darted away. He was like real in there. There's a few of them, there's about three or four of them in there. This is called the um this is a surf site called the spot. This is one of the little hermit crabs out the front of the spot. Sweet beings, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been, Blood Hunter? I got back, guys. I got back on Friday, uh, what? Friday night. So I've been away for the whole week. I hope you're going well. I picked these shells up off the beach. Did you not? Picked them up off the beach. Whole shells like that. Massive. Oh, you'd pay like money for that here in Oz. Just washed up. This one here is a. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a... Hey, actually, anyone in chat know what that is? <laughs> I saw your chicken soup tatter, yeah. Anyone know what this is? Anyone know what that is, out of curiosity? Do we have any people that are onto it? Often referred to as sand dollars, but they are actually the trap door to large shells. So they protect themselves if they want to hide. They'll shut that up so that nothing can get inside them. Yeah, but this is the shack. This is the surf spot right here. Right on the beach. They have all their surfboards in there. Hiding inside the house because of the typhoon. Oh my god, man. Are you going to be safe, dude? Okay, so we fly. Wiley! Oh my god! What the fuck? Wally. I'm upside down. Thank you so dude, much, dude. Is this supposed to happen? How you going, man? Yeah. You press up. <gasps> <laughs> what the fuck just happened, man? Nice. Gay fuck yeah. G'day, Speechless fuck face. Yeah. G'day, fuck yeah. How are you, Wiley? You're legend. 20 months, mate. Thank you so much, dude. We're just looking at um at my... Uh, <laughs> hey, g'day, fans. We're just looking at my um trip from the Cocos Islands, mate. Just going over some of the video footage and whatnot. And talking people through what I did and what was awesome. So, right now this is, we headed across to an area called South Island. And see that little island to the right? There's like a bunch of those, like five or six of those around that side that are just, just like chilling out there in the tropics. This was by far the most beautiful spot that I went, I reckon. I think I just got him, man, hey. Oh, dude, it was amazing, man. A blood Hunter, it was like, look at this. It's like pristine. I've never seen anything like it. It's like the parts of the Caribbean, tropical. Biggest fish I saw? Um, 
I saw some big sharks, and there's some footage of the big sharks later. <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, I fucking love you, Wally. No worries. I've been away for a week, man. Hope you're good. I hope you and the missus are good. I'll keep up with you on the old Facebook, mate. Can't wait for the shark in the cave. Yeah, he's pretty docile. But this is a well-known spot. There's actually a tour they run here with motorized um, wave skis that you can take and you can like cruise around the lagoon. There's a shirtless grizzly. Oh my God, is that TOS? God dang it. But this is the point. This is like pristine, pristine area. More little reef sharks. Dad bod? Yeah, 100%. Little reefies, see them? Scooting. They are everywhere over there. The reef sharks are everywhere. <laughs> Down the TOS, let us live a bit. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yo. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't streamed for a whole week. Actually, it's eight days, man. Eight days. It's been... This is the snorkel bit, yo. G'day, Nihilus. How are you, man? Looks like hell, man. How'd you manage? This is the snorkel bit, Valkyrie. So I went on a little snorkel. This is a real interesting one because essentially it was like one of those islands. It would have been like 500 meters walking up the whole way around it. And you can basically get on one end and you can do a drift dive and the current sucks yourself around the island. So I basically got in at one point and it sucked me all the way around and there's like a little ridge that you can follow. It was such a cool little snorkel, eh? Yeah, yeah, I should learn this song on guitar, right? It's a good, good song. How you been, Nollis? Yeah, crystal clear water, for sure. Some grizzly snorkel, snorkel noises here. <laughs> yeah, while he gets some shirtless stuff with Chris. There's a couple of clams there, guys. See those clams? Couple of clams. These things are very expensive. They actually have a. Oh, did I just fuck it? Oh no, we're good. Look at that. They actually have a clam farm on the island as well. Someone sells those. Hey, gay ho and honey. Hey ho and honey, how are you? We're just going over my footage from the um, from a trip away. Nice clam. All right, Valkyrie, the uh, shark cave is coming up. But check this guy out. Check this guy out. This is what they call a northwest blowy. This is what I call a Northwest Blowy. These things get like massive. They get like a meter long. This is a relatively small one. This one here. You just woke up? Good morning. He is so cute. He swum right at me. The thing about Northwest Blowies is they have a uh, they have a mouth like a you know a parrot beak. They have like a beak like this, and it's like basically one big tooth. And if that if it bites you, it will take a chunk out of you. So uh, people have lost fingers to these fucking things before, right? Eh? Is Master Wilza here? Wait, who? Who, what? Hey, Wilza, how are you, man? Yeah, check this guy out. Look at him. He's coming right at me. <laughs> they're, little, they're like little, little fins going. Pretty cool. Yeah, good, fantastic. Thanks, Wilza. Yeah, they are very cute. They are very cute. Very slow. You could probably just like poke them and that would be... This is the shark one here, Falk. I popped down into this cave and there he is. Cruising in there. It's a little oceanic white tip reef shark, guys. He was quite happy. I didn't go poke him or anything, but he was just chilling under there, hanging out. Nice little school of fishies. <laughs> um, Ho and Honey, I hope you're going well this morning. Have you got yourself a, a coffee? Slash Red Bull. Cats of the ocean, heckin' cute, but no matter what. I don't mind. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not phased by sharks. Plus, in this place, it's pretty much impossible to go snorkeling and not see a shark. Apparently, these things are quite good eating. These little yellow fish. They're in serious numbers, though. Up here. Yeah, you know what's interesting? All right, I just wanted to show this because this was a particularly nice sight. Wilza, on the Cocos Islands, no sea snakes and no stingrays. Baby, what is your bone size? Yo, pants. Milk truck just Thank arrived. you so much, Fancy Badger. Big boob For the girl five gifties. Thank you so much, fans. I appreciate ya. Uh, Wilza, Thomas Tang, Cage Nut, 
Uh, Marionette and Red Snow get subbed. Welcome, welcome. So this site, guys, was a reference site. Um, it was marked on the map as there being nothing there, but it was so good because it was incredibly clear, beautiful blue water. So I was using my little robot here to drive this and have a look around. It was really cool. It was an amazing site, actually. I think there might have been some sharks towards the end. Thank you so much, fans. I appreciate that. Absolute champion. So, you pretty much see a reef shark on every drop up there as well, I found. There was always something happening. Always fish, no matter where you, where you dropped. Yeah, it's nice, eh? This is about five meters of water, so reasonably deep. All right, this is the big turtle. I actually woke this guy up. He was sleeping. Cage nut, how are you? The reef looks dead. That was all rubble stuff. It was all rubble. I have a couple of coral sites. I didn't include any in this. So he's got sand on his back. He was just kind of lurking down there. Here's some reef sharks in here. They're not shy of the ROV either. This thing makes quite a lot of noise. See that? Yeah, the coral health is really good, Hans. This is all seagrass as well. Hey, g'day, Kazi. How are you, man? How you doing, dude? Nice to see you. What's going on? Did you miss me, mate? I think this was the big one. Yeah, he was quite big. He was about, I reckon he was about two meters, that guy. And he kept hanging around as well. Nothing, nothing bit the ROV though. But yeah, loads of, loads of reef sharks around. And they're not afraid of you either. They will like let you know they're there. There's another one in the per peripherals. Hey, g'day, Snippy. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too, honey. See that one? That's a good size. Look at that. That would be about... I reckon that's about two meters. One and a half meters, that one. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very fast. When you see them move underwater, you realize... And they're not even flighty. Yeah, the murky waters and the sharks, they just come out of nowhere, eh? They do. They do. Nice to see you, Snip. Ain't be going good. That's it, guys. That's it. Trip was amazing. I'll post this onto the onto the YouTube because it was definitely cool. Highlights of the trip probably would be the fire. For those of you that didn't see the fire, um, they have a fire pit like right on the water front. So we went down at sunset with a bottle of rum, had a couple of rumbos, cooked some steak. Robber crab? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you loser. Yo. Get sub. Schnippo. Thank you so much, Fancy Badger, for the gift sub to Snippo. Um, so, Wooza, were you on Christmas Island, mate? There's no robber crabs on Cocos Islands. They've only wow, got so the hermits. Cool. They've only got the hermits and they've got the land crabs. Dude, I didn't realize that's what you That's pretty cool. But guys, this fire pit, right? <laughs> Funny story. Because what happens is we lit the fire and we we're just all sitting there and like all sitting there having a rum, having a quiet. And then there was like a moment of quietness where no one was talking and I could hear the tick, 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 tick all around us. So I got like my got my phone and put the torch on and there were hermit crabs literally surrounding us literally like walking on the sand trying to come for us they were trying to come for us yo I swear ready to eat you <laughs> yeah, they're fucking cool but it was a great trip hey get a heart <laughs> you'd become their idols gonna get mug mugged by hermits it was it was it was it was a cool trip I liked it it was definitely up there. There you go. That's it. Death by Hermits. Yep. I'll um I'll upload that onto the YouTube if anyone wants to have a look at it. I showed my girls this afternoon and I was talking to them about turtles and stuff. But essentially, guys, what um essentially I was given a bunch of like habitat classifications of where they thought different habitats were. Um, seagrass, coral. Algae, sand. and I had to go video those and then verify that they were still there and verify the health of those. Uh, so far, from what I've seen, it is, it's a very healthy. 
Yes, it is a new mic, Shorty. It is, mate. It is a Rode Procaster. How you been, man? Crabs are scavengers and will eat anything dead. Yes. If someone fucking passed out on the beach near that campfire, they would literally be attacked by hermit crabs. No joke. They would, 100%. 100 percentile. Yes, that was for work, Bright Neon. Yeah, it was for work, mate. Got flown over there for old work. It was good. I had a great time. I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. I, I, I hope I get sent next year. Someone gets sent every year over there to do some the same survey. It'd be sick to get back over there again. All right, I did change some stream things, yo. Let's just chill for a bit. I just need to update my title. Guys, we're going to do a quick little quickie two run because I haven't played Kaizo for a whole week. So we're going to 